Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mailbag Day here at Comic Vantage. That's right, today's the day I unwrap the some of the bajillion packages I have stored up in my closet right now and show you what I got. This actually seems to be one of a, actually a lot of your favorite segments right here. So people like to see what I get. So let's get started. First off, here is my stack for the unveiling. And what would a mailbag day be without a burr, 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 package of shame? Yes, I have already opened this. I wanted to make sure the contents were good. Well, look at this. How many times have I said this? Do not send comic books in these mailers. They're just going to bend. Oh, oh you know what? But it's fine, because I have a backing board on the front and the back to... Oh, ah. All right. Like I said, I already opened them to make sure the comic books were okay. So let's see what I got. Well, I mean, he, just, he just stuck all... It's three books, and he stuck them all right in one bag and board as well. All right, so this is what I got. Look at that. Razor and She special. I'm going to readjust. Number one. Now I picked this up because it is the first appearance of Kabuki. And people, do not sleep on this book. It is very, very cheap to get right now, but it is not going to stay that way. David Mack is at Sony Studios. The TV show for Kabuki is in development. It's not an option. It's not anything like that. It is in development. So, and it, like I said, it was a three pack. I also got the Platinum Edition. This one here, while it has a you know, not as attractive cover as the Linsner cover. It is still the platinum version, so it has a lower print run. And the third book, which was kind of just a bonus, is the Razor Warrior Nun Ariella. As we all know, Ariella has also been picked up for a show, which is awesome. Anyway, so those are the first three books that I got. I should really just bag and board. You know what? I'm going to bag and board. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And they are all... Beautifully bagged and boarded in these absolutely gorgeous Max Light bags that I just love to death. You know, I will talk up these bags till the end of time. Amazing bags. You really get that Mylar look without the Mylar cost. So if you haven't seen these yet, hop over to Max Protection and go check them out. They're called Max Lights. Love that. All right. So now this is going to be an interesting mailbag day because not only do we have one, but we have two packages of shame now it looks like this book made it completely unscathed there's no but look at this i think they just put the comic book directly into an envelope no no packing at all i think it, it feels like it might be in a bag and board but that's it do you see this all right here we go put you it's a Wolverine number 90. And the book came completely unscathed. I am in utter shock. I, that's just insane. I can't believe how that, that actually made it. But this is how it came. In an envelope. Nothing else. No padding. Anyway, beautiful book. Love this. I love the Hildebrandt painting. That's why I bought it. It's just amazing. All right. Now let's start getting into some of the good stuff. I mean, not that everything... Everything I buy is good stuff. All right, what are you? Let's find out. Next package. Haha. -ha. Man, not only did they use one of these hardcore mailers, they put it in cardboard backing with a couple thick pieces on top. And that is how you pack a comic book. All right, what are you? I have no idea. Come on. Let us do the unveiling. And you are. Hey, a September morning, volume one. I bought this. I have to say, I bought this strictly for the cover. This was a cover grab. I saw this and immediately fell in love with it. And then I went to find out that this is a band that Mark Silvestri actually has a hand in. So I was like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Not bad music either. So, wow, the cover is just gorgeous. Like I said, I could not pass that up. It was just beautiful. 
I don't even know where I saw it at. I just saw it and I was like, damn, mine. All right. What do we got next? We have an envelope. Another Gemini mailer. Glad to see a lot more people using Gemini mailers. They're just so convenient and handy. Although I have to admit, I have seen, I, I got in recently a Gemini mailer that was just bent right in half. Like someone had just crushed it right here, either stepped on it and bent it or got jammed under a wheel or something. Oh, that was like a sad day. All right, so let's find out what this book is. Wow, that's actually really nice. I'm gonna reuse that. We got some styrofoam or some bubble wrap. And this came from the comic book bin. Must have been an eBay seller. Thank you for your purchase. Exclusive discount offer from the comic book bin. And <laughs> included a trading card. The Batwing Soars from the Batman movie. Yes, this came from 1989. Isn't that just insane? Okay, that is so cool. Love it. No idea what I'm going to do with that, but wow, it's awesome. Alrighty. What are you? You are... Hey, rags number two. I've been waiting to get this in. This is actually supposed to be a really great story. I have not started reading these yet because I'm still waiting on my issue one, which is in a stack, so I must have grabbed them in the wrong order because I thought I ordered issue number one first. But hey, at least I know I got number two in. Awesome. Really, really happy with that. Book looks to be in good shape. Bag and board feel a little flimsy, so again, I will replace that. All right, next up, another one of those really nice hardcore mailers. Slice the box. Dun, dun, dun. Slice the box. And we got some blue masking tape. Oh, this one's in a mylar. I must have paid a decent amount for that one. <laughs> All right, and this one is, oh, yes, God Country number one. Will you look at that? I got a hell of a deal on this book. And I have a Donny Cates signing coming up where I'm going to get him to sign this, so I'm really, really happy. Oh, here we go. Okay, so check this out. Here's my God Country number one, all nice and shiny, in a Mylar. Here's my Razor She in a Max Light. I personally, I can't tell the difference between the two bags. Look at that. I cannot tell the difference at all. The only thing is that the Mylar, a little bit thicker, so it has a different feel. That's the only difference. And it's like, I don't know, third of the price of those. So, like I said, do yourself a favor, check them out. Anyway, that's enough of me plugging Max Protection. And I actually don't even get paid by Max Protection or anything. They don't sponsor me, nothing like that. I just really, really love their products. All right. What are... Holy God. Whoa. Man. I think it weighs like a half a pound. I cannot wait to see what's in this. Oh. Come on. We can do it. We have the technology... What is in there? I see like eight backboards stacked up on each side protecting it. I have no... Wow. So whoever did this went above and beyond with the protection. See? Some people just really know how to take care of their stuff. This is how you can tell someone who loves their books as opposed to a casual seller who has no idea what they're doing. Ooh. Man, okay. Ah, loud noise. All right. Again, I mean, look at this. 
They put a stash of backboards on the top, a stash on the bottom. Come on. All right, so. Wow, okay, I got a nice little stack of backboards to reuse. Four there. Seven total. <laughs> Those will not go to waste. And let's find out what these books are. Oh, they are... There we go. Man, they were all like taped together again. Survey says you are... Pachow! Hey, a Spawn 250! The Capullo variant cover. Oh, man. That's actually... Oh, these are self-adhesive bags. Wow, these are insane thick. I was wondering why they, the package was so big. Man. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very happy with that. Man, this is a big, big book. So that means I know what these two are because I bought all these from the same seller and they are all Spawn 250s, just different variant covers. Look at that. It's an issue I didn't have, so I'm really excited. It's very, very cool. Love it. Okay, next up, from Dungeon Comics out of Ontario, Canada. Let's see, what do you got for me, Dungeon Comics out of Ontario, Canada? You have some cardboard. All right. Okay, got a little slice there. Wow, I'm really afraid to slice it. Oh, you know what? Got my little clever cutter. There we go. Ooh, tape gave way. What are you? You are, oh, X23 number seven. The Deodato variant cover. This book has had some heat to it because the first appearance of, what are they calling her? Like the X agent or something? But anyway, yeah, that's actually really cool. Man, I love that cover. And the book looks to be in immaculate shape. So I'm thinking a CGC might be in store for that one. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. All right, only two packages left. No idea what you are. Masking tape. Got another backing board to protect the comic. That makes eight to reuse. This mailer is in really good shape. I'll keep that. All right. Survey says you are. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that. My Venom Annual Sinkevich variant cover. Oh, that makes me happy. Absolutely love this man's work. This Venom is just beautiful. That right there could be like my cover of the year for last year. I just love that thing. Man, Sinkevich's artwork is just blowing me away. And uh, now I have an opportunity to get to a signing that he is at. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, and last but not least, let's see what we got here. We got some tape. We got some tape. <laughs> I actually know what this is right off the bat. So I will just pull that out and set that right there. Look at that. 
Transformers number one, another Sienkiewicz cover. So we have really cool Sienkiewicz covers back to back. This is my second copy of this book right now. My first one's in really good shape, but this one I was very, very excited to get. And let me show you why. This was one of the old three comic book bundles. Three comic books for $1.79. I pull this out of here. And it has issues number one, two, and three. Issue number three looks to have a little nicked corner there. Now, wow. Now my big question is, do I open this? Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> uh, I have a feeling this is going to be in better shape than my Transformers. And I want Sienkiewicz to sign one of these. Man, okay, that's beautiful. We have a little circle right here. I don't know if you can see it in the light. And it's from this brass ring being folded over and sitting on it for years. But I think I can get that out with a press. And we have, a, we have one crease right there. And that's it. Oh, man. Who? You know, if I, with getting that little divot out right there, I would probably call that a 9.4, maybe a 9.6. And that's only because of this little spine crease right here. Maybe, probably 9.4, conservative. Hot damn. And now, let's check out issue number two. And issue number two is just absolutely flawless. We have some minor curling right here. Oh, we got a little crease I can see in the light. But damn, that's still going to be in the nine range as well. And for issue number three, we got spine crease, spine crease, spine crease. So maybe a nine. Oh, wait a second. We got a rip down here. Let's put that down in the seven and a half. <laughs> Still absolutely beautiful. Those two there. Whew, that made worth it. Worth buying it. I think I paid 30 bucks for this set. Yowza. All right. I'm just going to put you guys right there because damn. Oh, that makes me happy. Look at that. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to need a CGC. Whew. Good thing for me, I just renewed my CGC account, so I have a credit. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's my mailbag for the day and some of my beautiful books that I've gotten. Like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. You're amazing. I love all the comments and the thumbs up, everything. Make sure you share this video everywhere. If you're not subscribed, hit the little CV right there. And like always, guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.